Hello guys, welcome to Thinker Monkey TV. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in the part of the world that you are watching from today. It's just a quick tutorial today guys on how to stream directly from your Xbox or your PlayStation 4 to Mixer, Twitch, Facebook and YouTube. Now, myself guys, I've been streaming now for just under a month and a half and today I hit my first massive goal of 500 followers guys. You know, so as a thank you, I want to give back to the community. You know, or I want to give I want to give people the opportunity who want to get into streaming, you know, who thinks that you need all all the equipment and everything to get it all going. I just want to help you and let you know that you don't need all of this equipment, guys, to get to get a decent stream going. You know, you can do it with bare bones equipment. Myself, I've got an Xbox One X, I've got a PlayStation 4 Pro, and my PC, guys, I paid £20 for my PC. You know, I don't know what that is in dollars, it, it must be like $30. But in no way is it a gaming PC, guys. But what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a Mixer account, a Twitch account, a YouTube account, and a Facebook page. Okay? Now, for today, I'm just going to use the Xbox as an example. I'm going to use Xbox and Mixer and Facebook as the example. But this works for them all as I've got them all set up regardless. What, what you're going to want to do is, when you've got these accounts set up from the streaming sources, i.e. Mixer, Twitch and so on, you know, if, if, for example, you're streaming from the Xbox, you probably already know you can stream directly to Mixer. And if you have the Twitch app on there, you can stream directly to Twitch. If you're on the PlayStation 4, you can stream directly to Twitch and you can stream directly to YouTube. Now, what you're also going to need for this is to go on to aircast.app. That's A-I-R-C-A-S-T dot A-P-P. Aircast.app. The link will be in the description. Now, what, you want, what you're going to want to do, guys, is go over to aircast.app. You're going to want to create an account for your aircast.app. And... When you have the account, it's going to give you an option for an input stream. Now, for example, I'm using the Xbox today as, I, as I'm about to stream. So, for my input stream, I'll be logging in for my Mixer account. Now, what you want to do is then, guys, is if, for example, you want to go on to Facebook and stream from, from your Xbox to Facebook... On aircast.app, you're going to want to create an output stream. Now, to do this, uh, you, for Facebook, you want to go, if you have a page, you want to go live. And on the go live dashboard, if you scroll down slightly, it'll give you your stream key. It's this stream key, which is what you're going to copy and paste into your aircast.app. And save that as your output stream. Okay, so if I give you give you a little show of you guys. So here's here's the example. You got the input stream. Now of course I've got the low latency on, and for this account, I've got Facebook set up like so. So just so you see, guys, aircast dot up. Now, when you've got this account created, guys, what you're going to want to do is then set up the stream info on Facebook, for example. You're going to want to start your broadcast on your Xbox or on your PlayStation, whatever your input stream is set at from wherever console you're going. When you are broadcasting, give it 30 seconds for it to get through the net. Then what you're going to want to do is 
is press play on Aircast or Tap. Now you can have the output stream set for YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Mixer. So you can have the output stream for them all and you can also stream to them all the same time this way. What you're going to want to do is then, when you have hit then the start button, it will then connect your input stream to your output stream. Whatever that may be. In this instance, it is Facebook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a little give a little view you guys. So this is my setup. I got my Holy Tac Pro, I got two keyboards, one for my PC, one connected to my Zim Apex, and I haven't even got a desk, guys, you know? I've sim simply got two chairs with a floorboard in between, guys, and I've got my TV. Now, what you want, what you want to do, guys, in this instance, is you're going to want to hit Start Broadcast, okay? Now, with this, now that you're starting broadcast, guys, over on Mixer, it's going to be streaming. So, if I was to go over to Mixer, View channel. Here I am, guys. Currently streaming. Okay. You then want to go over to Aircast. Well, actually, we'll we'll go over to Facebook first because this is what you want to have up. When you click go live, you're going to want to have it on the connect button. You're going to want to set up your stream everything first. If you was to scroll down below, guys, this is where you get your stream key. Okay. If you don't know, now. When, when you've got that set up, you then go over to Aircast and you click play. Now what it's going to do is, it's going to start, bang. So there's the start. You're going to want to go over back here. Wait for it to load guys. Wham. Wham, bam. There we go. It is now connected. What you'll then do is hit the go live button, guys. Okay? Now, that's all there is to it. Okay? That's, that's all there is to it. You know, so for people who think that you need, a, a, you know, an absolute fantastic, phenomenal, you know, grand's worth of PC, guys, like I said, you don't. I paid £20 for my PC. And it runs this absolutely well. I got 30 frames per second. And when you watch it back, you know, uh, the, it's absolutely fine, guys. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can obviously adjust those settings as well. Uh, of course, my internet is what it is. So that's what it is. But it just goes to show, guys, you know, that you don't need all as usual. You don't need... All, all of the, the boom arm, this and that. You know, it's great to have a camera. I spent four, you know, for, actually not even four ninety nine. I think it was like four pound fifty, four pound twenty on on my Logitech webcam, and it gives a face to the audience. You know, but by doing it this way, you know, it, it, it works the same. If you're streaming from Twitch, you just then have Twitch as the input source, and you know, Facebook, YouTube, whatever you would as the output source, and you then do it that way, guys. Okay, let me stop this stream before people start watching. But that's all there is to it. You know, with the with the Facebook, if you used to go on Aircast or that, guys, um, they've just recently, so it came in in January. At first, it was free. Uh, however, it's no longer free anymore uh, since January. 2020, it is five pound a month, or you can pay for the year and get get a massive discount for that, and that will allow you to stream to Facebook. But if this is what you want to do, guys, if if this is what you want to do, then five pound a month, or if you wanted to pay for the year, it is absolutely worth it, guys. You know, absolutely worth it. You know, it's. Because I haven't got a gaming PC, guys, where I, I where I could use Streamlabs or OBS, you know, I, I can't use that, but, you know, then I'd have to game for my PC, and I haven't got a gaming PC. So if this is the option for you, then this is the best way of doing it. Okay, this is how I found, you know, yeah, you can't put all the, 
the Zhuzhuen, you know, with all you know all the frames and the, you know new follow and this and that, guys. But you'll get there, you know, you'll get there. And that's even if you want that, guys, you know, you know if you just want want to stream with a camera, you know, people are happy with that, guys. You you can have all the Zhuzhu, guys. It doesn't mean that you know you're gonna get followers because of that. As long as you're putting up good content, you you're interacting with the viewers. People, people are going to come on board, guys. You know, people are going to come on board. But this is how I do it. This is my setup, guys. You know, I'm constantly trying to add new pieces, obviously. You know, it's I want to do this for a long time, and I'm here to stay. But at the moment, guys, this is what I've got. And I'm so happy with the progress. So I just wanted to share how I'm doing and share how I'm going about it to people that may, that may not know how to go about it or or people may think that they can't go about it because they need all this thing you know yeah you can stream directly to mixer but it's a hard world guys you know it's a hard world yeah you can stream directly to twitch but it's a it's a hard world guys you know stick out there 100 percent stick out there okay you will get there but facebook and what i found because facebook guys you know it's 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 more Facebook has more of a, a an interactive community, you know, where people talk, people can people can do all these things. You can talk, interact, give feedback, message. You know, it's it's a lot more open. And with Facebook, you know, the, the usual average person have are, are on there. You know, Twitch and Mixer, guys, it's it's all gamers on it. You know, you're not gonna be seeing people that's not gamers on Mixer and Twitch. And there's so many people streaming that you know it's hard to get yourself noticed until until you've made it so you know so which <laughs> which takes time but facebook i found i'm absolutely shot up I'm absolutely shot shot up in, in the amount of followers the amount of viewers you know i was having a consistent 80 to 200 views on my videos for you know a month and then the last week guys you know boom the last week has been incredible, guys. I've been having 1,300 views, 1,200 views live. You know, absolutely incredible. So, to me, at the moment, Facebook is where it's at. But you, for setting up the, the output source, guys, you know, you can get the stream key where I've showed you for Facebook. But you can also get the stream key on your Mixer dashboard or your, your Twitch dashboard. And you can also get it in your YouTube settings as well, the, the persistent stream keys. So, you know, I really hope this has helped, guys. You know, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. And let me know if it has helped you. And if you do decide to get into streaming, guys, I really hope that you find success. And, and I hope that you enjoy doing what you're doing, guys. Okay, but much love, much peace. For my supporters, you know, for the for the people who have been giving me feedback and helped me along the way, really can't thank you enough, guys. You know, the support has been incredible. But have a good morning, have a good day, have a good evening. And I hope life is awesome to you guys. Keep it tight.